over top of this glove if you're lazy like you're doing today. So I'm teaching you the secret sauce behind what makes Carey Price really solid, right? The secret sauce is pretty simple. At the end of the day, I'm doing what feels right for me and chasing down my dream. What's up, you bum? First gas of the trip. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is your captain speaking. We're making a quick detour to Rotten Ronnie. Can I get two extra large hot tea water? Beautiful Saskatchewan with the Flying J. Got for Joe in the car. Midnight edition. Look at that. When I get back to Sweden, I'm gonna apply for a job at Espresso House as a barista. Hey, you see the sign in the bathroom? Only one person in at a time. Because some people are- I'm ready to go, coffee's good, coffee's strong. Let's do it, let's do it. Put him in, coach. <laughs> We're going. <laughs> Can we get straws? Need a little greens, get those vitamins up from Beyond Yourself, promo code TRAVISUCKS, 10% off. This is probably some of the best water on the planet. Free at Starbucks. On the road, keep the vitamins up. Stop trying to towel whipping the cock, Can I get two orders of potato wedges? Can I also get 10 packs of hockey cards, please? Oh, ask if they have any binders. It's not ironic at all that we went to Starbucks to be using them for free water, use their cups, went to Tim Hortons and just bought hockey cards, and now. Oh, right, boys. To the road. Travis, this is where I'm sure you'll be spending quite a bit of your time. I do my best work. One of the most knowledgeable goalie coaches in all of North America. This is gonna be a good day. Hey guys, my name is Pascal Villan. I'm a professional goaltending coach based here in Vancouver, British Columbia. President and CEO of uh, Elite Goalies Canada. Dallas Stars as the development camp came on in 2013 as a guest from uh, Mike Valley. And then I went on to uh, Team Canada to coach with uh, Team Canada's national uh, women's team and also work with the men's side as well. So you might be the guy that actually fixes my game. Oh God, no, absolutely. So when you're tired, you just, you let me know. Um, the way I want to, uh, the way I want to kind of frame this is the goal for me really is just to kind of retool your game to customize to what you've done because obviously you've done a good job because you're playing second division, I guess, bro. Making some uh, small adjustments here and there and giving you kind of a framework in your head. I speak fluently in all goaltending languages. So if you're looking, you know, the Finnish style, uh, the Russian style, American style, whatever you want to call it. My job is really just to kind of look and go, okay, let's try this and this and see how this complements your style. You know, having Ben Bishop on the ice or uh, Scott Darling for that matter, big, big men, huge men. They just make that road a super highway. Let's go out to the blue line so we can preserve this and I'll, I'll get back to this stuff. Is your skate cut in a 13 degree radius, one degree pitch? No, that's one of the major issues. Okay, so what ends up happening is that we end up on the middle of our skates rather than on our toes. We can take care of that later on. Rotate your feet or articulate your feet. So when you articulate your feet, listen, you keep your knees, your skates, your hands, your hips, and your shoulders on the buck. Turn, push. You see how smooth that is? Good, you don't need that much. Cut it in half. You could pull this video and then match it up with a video in, in forgetting Sarah Marshall. Do less. Nope, stop. Remember, don't do anything. No, you gotta do more than that. That wasn't quite it, but we're gonna figure it out out there. Okay, so here we go. Small pivot, push. Small pivot, push. Now all your brains are in your feet, so now watch the puck. Push. Pivot, push. Now just put both feet. Pivot, push. Good. You did them perfectly, but you did them separately. So now as soon as you get to that point where you wanna go, go. Pivot, push. You see the difference? So now you're set and in position. Pivot, shuffle. Pivot, shuffle. Shuffle. Pivot, shuffle. Breathe. Pivot, shuffle. Pivot, shuffle. Pivot, shuffle. Look at the puck. Pivot, shuffle. Good. Pivot, shuffle. Good. Stance. Good. Pivot and shuffle. 
So when we go out, we go at the puck because you're driving out to the puck. Good. And then you're going lateral across. So when you push out to the puck, and then as he cuts across the middle of the ice, then you're making your slight adjustment. See that slight adjustment? Attack and return the backside push leg. There you go. Now both pivot. It's coming across. Go. Good. On the T-push, you're trying to gain depth. The shuffle, you're trying to remain square and get set. You're driving depth, and then you're getting set square and on angle, right? That's why I was saying it. <laughs> I haven't yelled yet, so. Good, then pivot, shuffle, good. Come on, push, good, back. Backwards flow, and push, good, good. Come back out. So if you start to go backwards flow and then C-cut to make the turn, the same thing can happen by just pointing your toe. If you're going to your right side, you're pointing with your left. Yeah, so that's a C cut. Think of just pushing, but push through your toe. And what'll happen, because you're backwards flowing, you're stopping with one foot. What happens when you stop? The other foot keeps going. So that's where your rotation comes. When you get to the proper rotation, you finish it off. So you're gonna point your toe and push. Ready, backwards flow, point your toe, push. Look at the difference. That's, you're catching up super fast. When you go down, you don't want to put your hand on top of your pad. You want to project the puck to prevent the upper shelf. When I go this way, your hand has accepted temporary responsibility for your chest. When you sag back, okay, your, your hand is going to go back. So what ends up happening is you got a door that you've bent the top of. I know that because when I held a party at my house once, the guys broke my dad's wine cellar door. Okay, where is the hand? It should be projected forward. Here, you got to lean forward to the puck, and then that's where you're making the save. You're going to track down, and you're going to look through your elbow. Don't look over your shoulder. Okay. Always look through where the numbers would normally be on the jersey. Sorry for manhandling it. So be careful not to put all your movement in your torso. Project the hand and the stick forward. Forward. Project the hand of the stick. Yeah, you got to attack the puck because if you don't attack the puck, you're going to give me real estate that I can go in different places. You don't want to give me real estate. You want me to force this puck back. Why? So that you have to shoot. You have no My blade is yeah, closed. Close. So where's the puck going to go? Gotcha. Low. I want you to bring that leg up now. Yep. Go. Push. Okay, so what happened? There was a lot of movement there, right? Go back again. If they turn with their torso and they go, shit, I forgot my leg, I have to come back and get it. So in order to fix it, you go down, look, and everything goes together. You see how one knee becomes like a stiletto heel and I can choose where I want to go. So as you rotate, the leg comes up and stops where you want it to stop because you're only a toe away from pushing. So let's go to work. Take a look at how high the puck has to travel in order to get to the crossbar. Okay, so you've probably heard the terms track down. Have you heard that before? Yeah. So this is what it means. You're tracking down on pucks that are coming up. This is the puck's trajectory. It has to travel this way on a good hard shot in order to make it to the net. Now, yes, it can go up and over. It can. It's actually 37 inches, one inch is bigger than three feet. Okay? okay, stand position. Good, your glove should be at the height of the top of the trajectory, okay? So your hand, your stance adjustment would be at the height or slightly above. Go ahead, your blocker will never truly be in that perfect position and you got to move away from being too wide in your stance because it limits your lateral mobility get down there bend your legs brad you're gonna have to spend the night with him constantly yeah. telling him stance if it comes ripping up here and you don't have a chance most goalies will go fuck and reach back you don't sweep back hammer forward elbow engages so your blocker comes right up to your underarm and that's where the elbow engages and that takes the shape of this side of the net you're covering 80 percent of the net if not 90 percent of the net as it is so this shooter is looking at scoring here up in here and over top of this glove if you're lazy like you're doing today. So if you're in that position, all you don't need to get to all to your space. You're already covering 80, 90% 80, of the net. Yeah. You have to get to the spaces as quickly as you can, here, 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 and just up here. Those are the small little spaces you need to get to. So we're talking about a six inch game, okay? If that goes out to the blue line, which we won't do in further, what happens to the trajectory? So that's why we're up like this as they're coming in. I think in pro hockey that you gotta engage in the stance like when they're crossing the blue line or even a little earlier, because if you don't, you're gonna get caught. So I'm teaching you the secret sauce behind what makes Carey Price really, really solid, right? The secret sauce is pretty simple. His shoulders, his eyes, his shoulders, his hips, his hands, his toes are always, they're always facing the puck, okay? You rarely see, you rarely see him not facing the puck as he starts to go through. So when you start looking at the game from the points, you'll, you'll start catching goalies that are bad with their feet. Okay, these shots are gonna be low. Make the saves that you wanna make. Go ahead. Okay, 
Okay, leave it out front. Leave it out front where you can see it in your eyes. Stick's gonna stop the puck. If you move your blocker to move the blade, what are you opening? That's where that low blocker problem comes from, then. Eh? Yeah. Okay. So you're here and you lean towards it. You have to you have to fall in love with seeing that puck hit the hit the stick. You're something that's in the way of the puck. You're you're you know this puck's coming there. All you're doing is putting something in the way. A rock, a piece of wood, whatever it is, it's gonna hit it solid and take it off. Let me use my velocity, my power, the speed of the puck, and you just. Say no, fuck you. They are going to shoot low, okay? And they're gonna to try to get that pad to make the save. That's the key, right? There's gonna be times where you simply cannot avoid a rebound that's fat and flat. Try your best to have a stance with your skates, you know, that's just a little wider than your shoulders. And the very next move you've got is to release your blades. Like someone's got two ropes on the back of your heels and phoom, they pull them out so you get down to the ice. And another good tip is exhale when you go down. Very similar to a boxer, very similar to a martial artist. They go exhale when you go down and you'll go down faster. Good. When you throw a puck in here, go down your butterfly, they're gonna follow their break. Now go ahead and return to the post. They're gonna throw pucks in here. They're gonna throw them in your feet. Just rotate now, stop. You rotate it over your shoulder, which is what I didn't want. Rotate and start loading your leg. Stop. So take a look at your pad right now. So as soon as I have this puck and I throw it, where do you think that that puck is gonna go? And that's really the key behind it. So that's realistic, right? Everything's realistic that was very that was quite good we'll talk about rvh another day how many traves does it take to fill the net let's go back down to bantam hockey two and a half so two and a half maybe even up to three right why not call this zone from blue line to blue line zone three because it takes three of you to cover it so in order for you to turn three into one what do you have to do depth so come on out now i shoot it's a six inch game your peripheral vision is assigned responsibility for guys like him your peripheral vision is recognizing there's a driving forward on this side go ahead ready and where do you not want the puck okay you with me so your peripheral vision's assignment is where's the additional threat coming from in my post save, your primary vision is the puck and always the puck. In your butterfly, there's three different post receptions to help you, okay? There's the wrist or the, the stick and wrist, there's the elbow and then there's the armpit, okay? So go ahead, we're gonna do this another day, but no, stop for a sec, go back again. So the first thing you do when the puck goes past the heel of the stick is you, what do you do with this? You decelerate the blocker or, yeah and you, you, you decelerate that blocker because what could be there? Puck. Puck, what else could be there? Him. Him, so as it comes by, rotate your blocker. Good, lean towards the puck. Now load your leg, now stop. What is, where was that stick? It was on the outside. This time, don't rotate your blocker, just keep it where it is. Rotate now, together, your whole body. Now you've, you've been disciplined enough and well trained to keep it out there, okay? But that's good, most put them in the net and then they have to fight to get it out. Okay, stand up for me. So this time what I want you to do is I want you to try it again and finish with this part of your skate touching the post and your elbow on the outside of the post. Go. Good, so we need to get there a little bit more efficient. So when your hand is open to the puck and the angle of the puck, that's one thing you don't have to do. You're standing like Markstrom was. The guy would wind up and shoot. He would tap himself and then put his hand out. Stick, next layer is hands, then your head, then your feet. Anything that's above the hash marks and outside the outside, which I call control, is all stick when the puck's on the ice. Okay, it's the easiest to control. You move the leash, you can elevate pucks, you can put them in places people don't like. You can even, if you hate a guy, you can elevate it into his face which I like too. We want a goal from the beginning of the season to be on our feet set and ready for the next shot from here and that's really difficult to do. Okay, that was a goal that uh, after I shared this with Dave Alexander, uh, he, he made that a, a rule and then on top of it, just like Dave does, he tries to change it and make it even more in intelligent and challenging and his goal is to close that gap as, as much as he can, which is maybe that's why he's a Stanley Cup champion.
Okay, first day recap. It was uh, it was a pretty awesome day. Great meat and trap. A little shaky after the pepperoni pizza last night, but other than that, he was uh, he was pretty good. You heard about the pizza? I did. I did hear about the pizza. Guys, we're looking to crush a quick wheel. I'm hungry. I want some pizza. We need your best recommendation. If you live in Vancouver. Give me a message. You got about eight minutes to figure it out. Here we go. Decent. Wow. Look at that. We worked on a lot of really great things, standing in good position, elevating pucks, and uh, worked on uh, some positional play. And of course, we're starting to build a battle plan. So it's going to be a pretty awesome day. We have four or five guys out there that are going to go uh, kick Trev's ass over the next little while and uh, see what he's made of, see how strong he is out there. But it's going to be a lot of fun. You did well. Plan for tomorrow? Plan for tomorrow, we're going to go into zone two or the, the 45 passes from below the goal line to above, east west passes, mid lane passes to the outside, and then we're going to move to below the goal line, which will be a great day. A little RVH, a little timing mechanisms, it's going to be a lot of fun. Looking forward to it. Thank you for your time, coach. All right, brother. Anyway, put a couple finishing touches in the video. Let's recap the video, talk about some of the stuff that Pascal and I talked about today before I get into that. This is a block, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> 12 days of Christmas giveaways over the next six vlogs. A lot of to give away. If you want to win these two blocks, well, one of these two blocks, because we're going to pick two winners, leave a comment in the comment section below. If you ask to win or you say to pick me, you're automatically not going to win. The winner is going to be an awesome comment. I'm not biased, just leave an awesome comment. You're also going to leave your Instagram handle in the comment and go follow block on Instagram at going block 12 days of Christmas giveaways next video we're gonna give away more stuff and more stuff after that and more stuff after that I'm going to announce the biggest giveaway in goalie community history you're going to want to stay tuned for this and you're also probably gonna to want to win that giveaway I don't think there's a goalie coach that I've ever encountered that's as like OCD ADD just attention to detail in this fine fine as Pasco. Agree or disagree? Oh, I agree. And we're lucky enough too where we're coming at a time where they're probably going to shut down Vancouver and shut down BC as far as skating goes and rinks go probably within the week and back to Winnipeg we'll skate in the outdoor rinks for three, four weeks and then go back to Sweden because that's what this whole trip was about. Trying to make some improvements in my game so when I go back to Varberg I'm ready to go. I'm going to look like a new goaltender from when I left and we're going to put up some wins, put up some W's, play well and have a good season. So you also might notice fresh dew on St. V, fresh malt in yours truly. The handlebars are still here from November. I might, I might keep it actually. We had a hairdresser hit me up on Instagram. Her name is Hannah. I want my mullet back. I want you know what I look like? I look like a Mexican like rancher, like a farmer. Let's go harvest the chickens for the day or something. Hey, I'm Hannah. I'm a hairstylist. Come and see me at Axis Hair Salon. My Instagram is Hair by Han Van City. I can't wait to meet you. Thank you. Highly recommend. Great job with the mullet. Handlebars sold separately. Thanks for watching today's video. I'm going to bed. See you in the next one. Recording, by the way. Ah. That's my dad used to tell me. Lips are lips. <laughs> my dad's gonna watch this. He's gonna call me. I never said that. Great Kim Mitchell did once say, "Would you stop trying to hit me in the dick, please? I'm trying to do something here." Yeah, looks good. I know nobody's gonna believe me. Mr. St. V and I don't have to live off of hot bags. Although we had one earlier this morning. We're eating good now. Awesome protein bars. Winnipeg. Locally made. Pasco Villani here, I'm a prof professional blah blah blah. Can't tell. <laughs> oh, actually, we can't. We have to do that again. That was terrible. <laughs> Speaking of having a bad day, on our way out, we saw this deer that got schmucked by a semi truck that was like steaming hot in like 10 pieces. That is the case of the Mondays. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas, everybody. Happy New Year. Good luck in the Christmas giveaways. Uh, make sure you enter that. Try to run a block.